Uh, what's your preferred meal? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what recipe are we doing together? We did the crepes, French crepe, mm. and to be precise, there are there are the what we call Suzette because there are different types of crepe in France, and those are like more on the sweeter side than the the what you call the black wheat um, sarrasin. I don't know what it's called, like buckwheat, buckwheat. Mm -hmm. like we, do, we do buckwheat crepes too, which are more dedicated to um, savory things, like the big one, that's, they're really big usually, and uh, you see them in, in France, but if you like get them on the street in France, so with Suzette, they're more on the sweet side. Mm. Mm -hmm. the yolk and start mixing it because you don't want to make clumps so you don't start putting the milk right away until the eggs are kind of starting to wet the dough the dough the flour Of the magical ingredients. Beer. And this is special because I make my own beer. And because beer, like this, has yeast in it. So the yeast is actually really good to make the crepe kind of fluffy and light. Okay, you know, we get this. Doesn't look like crepe yet. <laughs> this is what's gonna make the crepe. That I do it with the sink. Because I need my truck to it. I mean, you can do it by hand, but it's easier with that. And I like the plastic guy to get guarded. Uh, and then you can scratch your ball, you can get messy, you know, filing and things. This will be enough. To get too fast and you get plump.
one magical thing is to get a spoon. And then you can feel the gravity of it. It's not bad, it's got a little bit more milk. So we'll do that in a sec. First, I'm going to get all that up. Because this is all with crepe batter. It is starting to look silky. There's still a few bumps in it because I just added the bump from there. So, oh. Now it needs to rest for about an hour. And then when it's rest, we'll check the gravity again. And probably add a little more milk just before we start cooking it. Yep. You can see there's no sugar in it. So for that, next step, cover it. I don't like the new Kirkland thing with the lead. I like it better with the slice of course. But it's okay. Voila! Next step, we cook. Early memory? Sure. Or like any memory? Any memory that's not oh, okay. with you, really. Mm -hmm. Well, we cook all the time. So. <laughs> um, now I remember helping my mom doing crepes when I was little. Like the idea of flipping him with the thing was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, not easy to do actually. Um, I remember, yeah, I remember watching her make the batter, and like she never measured anything either. <laughs> and, Crepes are so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but she used to like make him and make him more like into a dinner with like stuffings and then oven and you know make the crepe and make a forestier bechamel ham mushrooms cheese put them there roll them up put them cheese on top put more bechamel and then cook it in the oven. Mm -hmm. But dessert crepe was always my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look how smooth that is. <laughs> it's so smooth. That's coriander. Pepper. Bunch of different spices. Je pense que c'est le mieux pour les crêpes. When did you learn to cook? Um, pretty young, actually. I think it was probably, yeah, like 10 ish, where I started making my own eggs. Like, I mean, always start with eggs. But I was always like making the eggs and cooking in the oven, in the uh, fridge, and like finding other things to put in there. <laughs> Olives don't work. I remember that. <laughs> I tried that one time. It wasn't very good. I love olive. I love egg. I thought, put olive in egg. Be good. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. 
Um, when did you learn this recipe, the Suzette recipe? I think I've known it all my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I thought I knew it all my life. And the first time I tried to do it when I was in college in the U.S., I made frisbees. <laughs> Because <laughs> it was way too much flour and not enough milk and eggs. And I think they were, I didn't have any eggs and I thought I'd be okay. It turned out too late. Cook and become hard and they were no good. <laughs> me, me and my roommate, we were whisking him out of the window like frisbees. <laughs> Drink hard cider from French Brittany. Except this one is from Michigan. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, this one is drying. It's not quite dry yet. Mm -hmm. When it's starting to look completely dry, then you. Not quite. See how it's still wet right no, there? One. This one? Another way to test is to check the side. Yeah. No, no but it looks really see. white still, see? When when it starts like coming up like this, then you can put your tool. See that's too that's not that's too early. But that's okay. We'll keep it again again. But yes. so you you want the, the the border to start getting crispy? Like like that? That's not crispy quite right yet. Oh. See, Almost. it's still breaking up. Oh. So give it, give it a couple seconds because that thing is just heating up too. Look at that move. That's so cool. <laughs> Look quite. at that bubble. Look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheyenne documentary. It's a, Look how big it it's is. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they look like the moon. Yeah. Yeah. We always talk about the crater, like starting to look like the moon, like that one with the craters. Mm. All the craters of the moons are there. Oh wow! There's a bubble underneath it. Look, look, look. There's a bubble. If you yep, can see that's it. because I put beer in it. Oh yeah. Ah! Butter. Now I know what to look for. Now I can start flipping. Sugar. Not a lot. That's what I'll do. And the magic ingredient, lemon. I love the sugar. He's the best bread ever. What crepe are you gonna make? So where First are you putting it's gonna them be this sugar one? and lemon. The, my second crepe is gonna be apple butter. My third crepe is gonna be the cherry uh, jam. My fourth crepe is gonna be these. And then whatever I have, more, whatever I eat more, is just gonna be freestyle. Butter and sugar and lemon is the best. Sugar and lemon is the best. Mm, why is this recipe special to you? Um, because I've been doing it for my kids forever and they love it. Like crepe party is a party <laughs> for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's already the good news. Really good with you. Yeah. Anything else you um, think? About crepes? I have memories of crepe um, 
at my best friend's grandma's house in French Brittany, where she used to make stacks of crepe like that tall and eat all of it and drink hard cider with it. It was, it was a happy time too. <laughs> <laughs>